The city of Myrtle Beach continues to work with the Horry County School District on ways to upgrade safety on school campuses. And tonight we're hearing from police about the new acoustic threat detection program and how it will be used on three school campuses. Our Eric Richards joins us now live in the control room with details. So Eric, what more can you share? Well, Rachel, Myrtle Beach Police began working on implementing the acoustic threat protection uh, detection program rather as part of the school violence prevention program back in 2022. And now that the school board has given the ATD the green light, police are coordinating installation. This was uh, just intended for the Myrtle Beach cluster with the grant that we got. Myrtle Beach police have been given the green light to install acoustic threat detection sensors as part of the school violence prevention program. It is funded in part by a grant and a city percentage match. And what that did was give us, uh, they provided $198,000 and the city had a 25% match, which turned out to be about $66,000. Both the police department and school districts say that the sensors will be installed exterior of the school buildings in and around what's known as the Myrtle Beach cluster. Contingent upon uh, Myrtle Beach Police Department getting all necessary permitting from the utilities of the service poles that they're going to use. Similar devices are being used in other parts of the state, including Columbia. The sensor is able to detect gunshots and using a mapping system, pinpoint the area the shots came from and alert police of the location. The, the great thing about this technology is it's improved throughout the years. So now it is, it can tell us exactly when there's a gunfire. It can tell the difference between a gunfire and firework. The police department already uses cameras in and around the school campuses for security monitoring. And something that was mentioned at the school board meeting, the police department will need to receive permission from the power company to use power poles on the campuses because they do not belong to the school district. The exact location of the sensors is not known, and we will keep a close eye on this story and provide updates when they are made available. Rachel.